Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Podcast Special Edition Series, where I go through every baseball team's top 30 prospects list via MLB.com and discuss where they were drafted, where they are now, their big league ATA, and those that are top 100 overall prospects get a comparison. Now up is the New York Mets. Their top prospect is Andres Jimenez. He's a shortstop, number 53 overall prospect, 2015 international free agent signee by the Mets, currently in AA, ETA 2020, so... He should be up next year. Comparison, because of his slick defensive skills and doesn't hit much for power. I heard a Jeter comparison, but I wouldn't go that far. So my choice for this was former big leaguer Omar Vizquel. In 38 games in AA, 2 homers, 14 RBIs, 8 walks, 42 strikeouts, hitting 235, on base of 293, slugging 353, OPS 646. Their number 2 prospect is Ronnie Mauricio, number 92 overall. He's a shortstop, 2017 international free agent signing by the Mets, currently in A ball, ETA 2022, because this player is a switch hitter and has some power. He reminds me a lot of a young Hanley Ramirez. 44 games in A-ball. One homer, 11 RBIs, 11 walks, 38 strikeouts, hitting 273 on base of 326, slugging 347, and an OPS of 673. Their number three prospect is Mark Vientos. By the way, Mauricio, if I didn't mention it, number 92 overall. So Mark Vientos is their number three prospect Third baseman, 2017, second round pick by the Mets, currently in A-ball, ETA 2021. In 44 games in A-ball, five homers, 18 RBIs, 11 walks, 41 strikeouts, hitting 258 on base of 316, slugging 406, OPS 723. Four, Shervien Newton, shortstop, 2015 international free agent signing by the Mets, currently in A-ball, ETA 2022. In... 29 games in A-ball, 1 homer, 4 RBIs, 36 strikeouts, 10 walks, hitting 158 on base of 234, slugging 257, OPS of 492. Small sample size, sort of, but not great. 5, David Peterson, a lefty, 2017 first-round pick by the Mets, currently AA, ETA 2020. In 8 games in AA, also 8 starts, 2-2 two two with a 3.93 ERA. 36 and two-thirds innings, 40 hits, 43 strikeouts, three homers given up, 16 walks. Hitters hitting 263 off of him with a whip of 1.53. Six, Simeon Woods Richardson, righty, 2018 second round pick by the Mets, currently in A-ball, ETA 2022. In 10 starts in A-ball, 0 and 6 with a 6.89 ERA. 31 in the third innings, 37 hits, 1 homer, 7 walks, 39 strikeouts, hitters hitting 287 off of him with a whip of 1.4. Not great. 7, Anthony Kaya lefty, 2016 first round pick by the Mets, currently in AA, ETA 2020. In 9 starts in AA, 5 and 2 with the 1.07 ERA, 50 in 2 thirds innings, 22 hits, 2 homers, 17 walks, 52 strikeouts, hitters hitting 130 off of him with a whip of 0.77. That's really good. 8. Thomas Sapuki, a lefty, 2015 fifth round pick by the Mets, currently in short A, who hasn't started yet, as well as rookie ball. ETA 2021. 9. Franklin Colomb, righty, 2015 international free agent signing by the Phillies. He came over in the Estherbal Cabrera trade last summer, currently on the injured list due to Tommy John surgery, so. He won't pitch this year in all likelihood. ETA 2020, or at least he hasn't pitched yet. 10, Desmond Lindsay, outfielder, 2015 second-round pick by the Mets, currently in advance and on the injured list. ETA 2020 in 15 games in advance day. One homer, five RBI, seven strikeouts. I'm sorry, seven walks, 25 strikeouts, hitting 196 on base of 305, slugging. 294, OPS of 599. 11, Junior Santos, a righty, 2017 international free agent signee by the Mets, currently in rookie ball, ETA 2022. 
Well, Francisco Alvarez, catcher, 2018 international free agent signee by the Mets. Has not been assigned yet. Probably will be in rookie ball. ETA 2023. 13, Freddy Valdez, outfielder, 2018 international free agent signing by the Mets. To be determined where he'll play first. Probably rookie ball. ETA 2023. 14, Adrian Hernandez, outfielder, 2017 international free agent signing by the Mets. Currently in rookie ball. ETA 2022. 15, Will Toffey, third baseman, 2017 fourth-round pick by the Athletics. He came over in the Races Familia trade last year, currently in Double A, ETA 2020. In 35 games in Double A, two homers, 15 RBIs, 29 walks, 42 strikeouts, hitting 230, on base of 396, slugging 354, OPS of 750. 16, Jordan Humphreys, righty, 2015 18th-round pick by the Mets. Currently on the injured list due to Tommy John surgery, ETA 2020. Obviously has not played yet this year. 17, Tony Derbell, a righty, 2017 fourth round pick by the Mets, currently in advanced day, ETA 2020. Nine starts, 3-2 and two with a 2.31 ERA. 46 and two-thirds innings, 40 strikeouts, 34 hits, 19 walks, two homers given up. Hitters hitting 210 off him with a whip of 1.14. 18. Gavin Sacchini, middle infielder, 2012 first round pick by the Mets. Currently in AAA, ETA 2019. He made his big league debut, I believe, three years ago, but injuries and inconsistent play held him back. So he looks like one of the bigger busts over the past 10 years or so in terms of first round picks. And obviously, he has not played yet this season. Due to a bone bruise. 19. Carlos Cortez. Second baseman. 2018 third round pick by the Mets. Currently advanced A. ETA 2021. 45 games in advanced A. 3 homers. 25 RBIs. 31 strikeouts. 13 walks. Hitting 269. On base of 321. Slugging 395. OPS 716. 20. Riley Gilliam. A righty. 2000. 18 fifth round pick by the Mets, currently in double A, ETA 2020. In seven relief outings in advance day before his promotion, doesn't have a win or a loss. ERA of 2.53, two saves, 10 and two thirds innings, eight hits, 16 strikeouts, two walks. Hitters hit 200 off him with a whip of .94. Meanwhile, seven relief outings in double A. 2-0 with the 1.5 year right, one save, 12 innings, 20 strikeouts, 6 hits, 4 walks. Hitters hit 154 off him with the whip of .83. This kid looks like the real deal. 21, Ryder Ryan. 2016 30th round pick by the Indians. He came over in the Jay Bruce trade a few years ago. Currently on the injured list and in AA, ETA 2020. In... Nine games and two starts before the injury. 0-1 with a 6.91 ERA. 14 in the third innings. 14 strikeouts, 15 hits, 7 walks. No homers given up. Hitters hitting 273. Off him with a whip of 1.53. 22, Steven Valenez, a righty. 2017 10th round pick by the Mets. Currently in AAA ETA this year. So maybe he'll see some time out of the bullpen for them. Double A in eight relief outings. Doesn't have... A decision with an ERA of zero, three saves, 12 and two thirds innings, 14 strikeouts, nine hits, five walks. Hitters hitting 196 off him with a whip of 1.11. Triple A in eight relief outings. No decisions with a 2.7 ERA, 10 innings, nine hits, nine strikeouts, three walks, one homer given up. Hitters hitting 243 off him with a whip of 1.2. 23, Eric Hannell, the righty, 2015 sixth round pick by the Brewers. He came over in the Neil Walker trade a few years ago, currently in AAA ETA this year. In 17 relief outings in AAA, 2 and 1 with a 3.680 array. 22 innings, 23 hits, 2 homers given up, 12 walks, 16 strikeouts, hitters hitting 267 off the win with a whip of 1.59. 24, Christian James, a righty, 2016 14th round pick by the Mets, currently in A ball, ETA 2021. 
Nine games and six starts. One and four with a 5.180 array. 41 and two-thirds innings, 49 hits, three home runs, 11 walks, 37 strikeouts. Hitters hitting 295 off of him with a whip of 1.94. 25, Patrick Mazika, a catcher. 2015 eighth-round pick by the Mets, currently in AA. ETA 2019. So he could be up this year in September, potentially. 35 games. Double eight, six homers, 28 RBIs, 26 strikeouts, 15 walks, hitting 269 on base of 347, slugging 45, OPS of 832. Wow. 26, Ali Sanchez, catcher, 2013 international free agent signing by the Mets, currently in double A, ETA 2021. 27 games in double A, doesn't have a homer, but has 15 RBIs, 30 strikeouts, 9 walks, hitting 245 on base of 310, slugging 274, OPS of 584. 27, Quinn Brody, outfielder, 2017 third round pick by the Mets, currently in advance day, ETA 2020. 47 games in advance day, 3 homers, 30 RBIs, 41 strikeouts, 15 walks, hitting 271 on base of 318, slugging 395, OPS of 714. 28, Louis Carpio, middle infielder, 2013 international free agent signing by the Mets, currently in AA, ETA 2020. In 31 games in advance day before the promotion, one homer, 12 RBIs, 10 walks, 15 strikeouts, hitting 330 on base of 396, slugging 426, OPS 822. Five games in AA. One homer, two RBIs, five walks, three strikeouts, hitting 167 on base of 348, slugging 389, OPS of 737. 29, Nick Meyer, catcher, 2018 sixth round pick by the Mets, currently in advance day, ETA 2021. 29 games in advance day, one homer, seven RBIs, six walks, 20 strikeouts, hitting 242 on base of 294, slugging 295, OPS 589. And last but not least, Stanley Consorga, outfielder, 2017 international free agent signing by the Mets, currently in rookie ball, ETA 2022. Okay, the untouchable prospect on the Mets in my mind right now has to be David Peterson because he's somebody that I think will be a solid starter in the big leagues. He is in double A right now, pitching pretty well in double A. And then I look at it from this perspective. Zach Wheeler's going to be a free agent. Noah Syndergaard, he might end up trading. And Jason Vargas obviously hasn't panned out. So, And you have Jacob DeGrom locked up, who is a sure thing, obviously. So add Peterson to that mix. Then you have yourself another mid-level starter, perhaps. And the prospect that I think could be traded... Because I think there's a chance the Mets are a buyer in the trade market. I think is Ronnie Mauricio, who's the number 92 overall prospect. He's drawn comps to Hanley Ramirez. Like I mentioned, I've heard Manny Machado too, but I think that's a little strong because he's so young. But they already have Andre Jimenez. Ahmed Rosario's coming into his own. You obviously have Pete Alonso. So... Mauricio becomes expendable in that case. And then somebody I think can have an impact on the Mets this year is someone whose ETA is in 2020. But because of how good he's pitching in double A, I think Anthony Kay can come up and have an impact, especially out of the bullpen, and could really give themselves another keeper among their pitching prospects. Next up is the New York Yankees.